morning, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to draw this cute seahorse. Thank you Rhonda for the suggestion. You need a piece of paper, a pencil, Ooh. <laughs> a marker, and an eraser. Uh, so put me on pause, gather up your supplies, and come right back. I'm going to move my guide. We are going to start in the upper part of our paper. Could even be right about in the middle of our paper. You're going to start with your pencil. I'm going to use a marker just so you can see, see it a little bit better. Uh, we are going to draw a circle about this big, right like that. To get this circle, you are going to get your whole arm going from your shoulder and go around a few times. Uh, round and round you go. In the long run, you end up with a nice circular shape when you use um, when you use that method and you go round and round using your whole arm. All right, next up, we are going to draw another circle about the same size, uh, slightly overlapping that one right about here. So same deal, get your whole arm going from your shoulder, round and round you go, just like that. You'll see mine is not perfect. Um, I've got lines that waver inside, lines that waver outside. Um, don't expect it to be perfect. Don't limit yourself that way. Life isn't perfect as we can all see right now. So um, let it be imperfect. Now, almost like we're building a traffic light, uh, just below that, but slightly smaller and off to the back, we're going to draw another circle. It's going to overlap that middle circle just ever so slightly and be just a little bit smaller. So slightly smaller circle, just like that. Whole arm going again, round and round we go. All right, so we've got the sections of our seahorse. Let's go back up to the tippy top, the very first circle that we drew, and right along that top part, let's add in a little circle just like this. This circle is going to be bigger than a quarter, so about like that. Round and round you go. Still big enough you can use your whole arm. Um, see how mine's not perfect? Don't let yours be perfect either. All right, off of the base of that circle, add an angle. We are going to add in a rectangle. It's going to come down about like that. Straight down, just like that. I'm planting my wrist and I'm just using my finger for the shape because it's smaller. And at the end of that rectangle, let's add in just an, a small little oval, just like that. It's pretty skinny. All right, let's go inside that circle now. We're going to add in an eye. Now, if you look at a seahorse, their actual eyes are pretty tiny and then they've got this poof um, around it. So we're going to create kind of an exaggerated eye. I'm going to do a circle about this big. So we're going to make our, our seahorse a little bit more like decorative rather than realistic. So we've got a circle about that big. Inside that circle, let's make a little circle like that for a highlight. And then around our big circle, let's draw another big one. You can kind of just go around that one with like a mimicking shape there to get your idea of a little bit bigger. All right, now we need to do some shape connecting. So from the back end of this circle here, so if you imagine this is our seahorse's head and his little jaw is gonna be right about here, we're gonna add in an arc to connect from the, from the jaw down to that next circle. To get that arc, you're planting your wrist and you're simply moving your hand and it will naturally give you an arc if you do that. Okay, now to connect these shapes here, we need an oval it's going to be about this big. This is going to help give us our seahorse's spine, his little back. So between the top circle and the bottom circle, we're going to add in an oval, just like that. So in my mind, I kind of compare a seahorse to a pregnant lady. I can say that because I've been a pregnant lady. Um, when you're pregnant, your belly gets big and your back kind of arches or feels like it's arching a little bit more to help support that. So this oval is gonna give us that arced back. 
Um, okay, inside that oval, we are going to do a couple of lines. Right up toward the top, we're just going to do an arced line like that, and toward the bottom, an arced line like that. From this top arced line that we just drew up to the back of that top circle, we're going to add in a little connecting triangle, just like that. All right, inside this space here that we just created, we're gonna do some touching and flicking out to create that little fin they have on their backs. We're just gonna touch our pencil to the inside of that oval and just flick it out. It can be any length, um, or you can even skip this part and do this later with your marker. But just to give you an idea of where that fin is gonna live and how we're gonna create it, we're gonna do that. All right, moving on to the last section, we are gonna add in an oval and a circle. So first, let's add in that oval. From the middle circle, we're gonna cut in and create an oval, just like that. Just kinda sits there in between, almost like a little egg, just like that. Now, if you can see, we're gonna have the body, it's gonna come down like this, and in like that but we wanna have a little curly cue right there. So now we're gonna add in, inside that oval and inside that base circle, we're gonna add in another circle. So just like this, we're gonna add in a little circle. Nice and loose and light. All right, a few more little details and then we'll be all done. So our uh, seahorses have these little spines that kind of live almost all the way around their body. They get super tiny on the tail, but up around the head, um, pick an area of that circle that you like, and we're just gonna start like right about here. We're gonna create a shape. It's almost like if you were drawing waves. So it's just like a, a little loop, 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 like you're drawing ocean waves. So we're gonna start here, go up, come back down, up, come back down, all the way around the outside part of that top circle. Just like little water waves, just like that, all the way down. Then come down that little connecting triangle. Stop when you get to that fin. Now let's hop back on the tail and do the exact same thing. So from the bottom arced line of that mid fin, all the way around the tail, just like this. When we get to the base of this circle, about here we'll stop so we've got our little water lines all the way down now if I did that faster than you can do it and you want to take more time to do it pause me um, fill in those marks they're all just kind of that same simple motion and when you got them hit play and I'll be right here all right let's go back up to this face I forgot to add in our little connecting triangles from that nose we need one back to that head circle and below the nose we need one because it's not quite such a harsh connection there. All right, now we need to do our little water waves around that little tummy. So we're gonna go down that neck and start our little waves there. They've got like these little spines on their bodies. And if you look at them, they're all a little bit different, but um, I chose one with pronounced little bumps. Now, as we get into this tail, they get smaller. So I'm just gonna kinda give a hint of a few, just with a little squiggle there. All right, um, <clears throat> when we are drawing our um, seahorse, the very end here, we're gonna add in a little section of that tail. So from where your circle right here and your oval meet up, right where that intersection is, let's just add in a little arc, just like that almost like you're adding in another little oval. Just a little arc to connect those so you end up, you can see that shape of that tail. Okay, we are ready to switch over to our marker. I'm using a Sharpie. So sit down your pencil, grab your marker. You can use a Sharpie, you can use any kind of marker you have just as long as you can't erase it. And we're gonna start right up here around the nose and go around. So we're gonna go, um, up that rectangle onto that connecting triangle and at this point you're picking your favorite line on that circle that you drew we're going to go a little around that circle and hop on to our ocean waves so our water waves 
I'm just going to go up and down those little arcs. If you are having a hard time with those, it's a simple like plant your wrist and give that arc if you wanted to rotate your paper to where that feels comfortable. And as I'm tracing over it, I'm kind of just doing one at a time. And when I get down to that little back fin, I'm stopping. Let's go back up to that nose. We're going to go around that little oval, around the parts on the outside, just like that. And then up the rectangle, onto that connecting triangle, just like that. For their jaw, they've got um, a nice strong jawline. So right about here on that circle, we're going to start and we're going to trace over that bottom part of that circle to the connecting triangle, just like that. Now for their eye, the, the circle that we drew very first is going to be the part they can see out of. So we're going to trace around that and then we're going to trace around that little highlight we drew on the inside and fill in the part in between nice and dark. See that eye start to come to life? Now for that second circle that we drew, we're just going to add a cute little dot detail. So instead of drawing all the way around it, which is an option, you can do that if you wanted to, I like just the simple little idea of a dot. So just every so often around that circle, add in a cute little dot, just like that. All right, now let's go down the neck and around the tummy. So onto that arc and then back onto our little waves. Do one at a time and just kind of move your hand as you go around. If I do it faster than you, this is what we're doing, so you can pause me and just go around those little waves. All right, let's stop there and hop onto the back here. So for this part, we are going to add in those arcs and spines along the back that give us that fin, just like that. Now for the inside parts, we're just doing a touch and a flick, touch and a flick. When I hold my marker down for that touch, it kind of gives me a little thicker spot and then it gets thinner as we go along. Then on the ends of those, see how mine are not perfectly lined up? That's fine. Uh, we're going to just add in a little dot. So just fill in like a little dot with your marker. When they're not all lined up perfectly, it actually creates a cute little detail. If you wanted them to all line up perfectly, you could kind of stop it along that arc or along the outside edge of that oval. All right, moving on to the tail. We're going to hop back on to our little waves. Round and round we go all the way around the back end of that bottom circle, headed toward this little loop-de-loop -loop we created with ovals and circles. I'm going to stop there and hop on the inside here. So where we did around that tummy, where we stopped there, I'm just going to hop on. I'm going to hold my marker a little looser and let that be just a little ripply. And I'm going to go around that loop and I'm going to connect on to that last little section of the loop, just like that. From there, I'm going to hop on the outside part of that circle and connect it down. All right. A few more little details to give it some uh, cute dimension. Go head up toward the top of the body. Around this area, you're just going to pick like roughly five little spines, touch your marker down, and flick it in just ever so slightly. Just like that, just to give a cute little detail. Same thing around the tummy. Pick five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are nice and light, just quick little jabs. Same thing along the tail. One, two, three, four, five. If you wanted to do that around more, you could, but that's all, that's all we're going to do. All right, you've drawn a really cute seahorse. You should be proud of yourself. We are ready to switch back to our eraser. I'm going to switch to my guide. I'm saying switch a lot. I'm going to move on to my guide because I drew this one with pencil, and I'm going to erase right along with you. So steady your paper with your non-drawing hand. And back and forth you go to erase all of your guides. So we made a super cute seahorse using circles and arcs. 
and some little water waves. I hope you had a good time. Can't wait to see what you drew, so make sure to send me your drawings. You can send them to me in the comments below if you're watching on Facebook. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can uh, find me online, Rebecca Ink, I-N-K, because I like to draw with ink, RebeccaInk.com. You can send me your drawings there, and I will let them live on the Interact tab on my website, as well as in the comments on Facebook if you're following me along on there. Um, so find me online, Rebecca Ink. Uh, dot com or Rebecca Ink on Facebook, on YouTube, Rebecca Inkabink on Instagram. Send me your drawings, please. And um, check out what everybody else is doing. And let me know what you would like to draw. All right. Thanks for drawing with me today. I will see you on Wednesday. Stay healthy, stay safe, be kind, and take care. See you soon.